Hi, my name is Reagan Roque. I'm 11 years old, and I'm in the sixth grade. And ever since I was born, I had sickle cell. I have sickle cell SC. Now I'm going to tell you what sickle cell is. Instead of our blood cells being in a circle, they're like the shape of a banana. Now I'm going to tell you how to prevent a crisis. Well, lowering body temperature. If you're going to either, you have to stay in the pool or not, or stay in the hot tub. You cannot go in both because that will cause a crisis. Or when you get out of the pool, you must dry yourself off and do not go in the AC. Change your clothes or take a hot shower before you change your clothes. Now, eating right, like eating, you have to eat your vegetables. You have to, must eat your reds and your greens. Reds are for your blood and greens are for your oxygen. Half your plate, every meal should be vegetables, a quarter of it grains, and another quarter of it protein. Not drinking enough water. To, you need to stay hydrated. If you're not hydrated, this can cause um, crisis. If you drink too much soda, you that can cause crisis. You should only have like a soda once a week. You should drink 80 ounces of water a day. That's my goal. For adults, you should drink at least a gallon. This is like 80 ounces of water right here. And you... That is 10 cups. And always carry it with you like in a backpack, a purse, or a briefcase. Not having enough oxygen. So if you have a cold or a cough, I prefer you to do this. You're going to always have to keep this between the middle of it. And this should be all the way to 400. But I'm not going to do 400 right now. I'm just going to show you how it works. So you don't blow into it. You blow, blow, blow up. And it helps your lungs to stay strong, like this. Now, if you don't have this, I prefer to you to go buy this. Now, weather changes. I know we can't, we can't stop that. Like, we can stop the rest of these things. But how to stay prepared when the weather changes. I keep a hoodie in my backpack every day, even when it's 90 degrees, because I don't know if it's going to start raining. That can call it cause a crisis. At least keep an umbrella or a hoodie in your backpack, your purse, or your briefcase. Anything you have to take something in. Now, anxiety. Anxiety can cause crisis. So if you have anxiety or stress, just take a breather, stretch, do yoga. If you're at home, take a jog or walk a couple blocks or a mile. Do something that helps you to relax because stress can cause crisis and you should just calm down so you won't have a crisis and you won't be in the hospital for me i prefer to take god's medicine plants that are into a thing called supplements this is even it has helped me keep out of the hospital for two years the maker of even made this for sickle cell so people don't have to go through pain every day but you still will he had sickle cell himself and this has helped me now I have sickle cell every day, and it actually really helps. I'm not saying not to take the medicine the doctor gives you or the ones that are not have plants in it, because if, if that's helping you, you should take it. And these are my tips on helping you how to stay crisis-free. I'm Reagan Roque, and I just gave you seven tips how to stay crisis-free.